looking at the H9. Actually, we're looking at both my H9s, which yes, I bought them a couple years ago. And uh, before we go into the massive exploration of every single algorithm that's out on the market right now, let me tell you quickly what it is. These have been around for a while, but I just started working with the German distributor for Eventide Hello Sound Service, who commissioned this video, by the way. Um, and they said, do something on the H9. I'm like, well, the H9 has been out for a while, but hey, let's do it. Eventide has the space, the Space factor, time factor, mod factor, pitch factor? I think so. And they are bigger pedals, uh, kind of like what uh, Strymon is doing uh, with the timeline in the big sky. So they like reverb, uh, delay, modulation, and pitch. And no one, no one does pitch better than Eventide. We know this from the very beginning. If you want pitch effects, uh, harmonies that are delayed, building little chords, intelligent pitch shifting, no one's doing it better than them. But they said, why don't we make a pedal that has these algorithms in it, algorithms in it? Because, well, we already programmed the damn thing. We know how to do it. Let's make a pedal without all the controls. Now you have this, you can activate it. You can tap here. You can also go switch presets with these. Somehow, I don't know. There's a preset button, uh, three parameters which you can assign. You click it, and then you have one big knobby here, which you can also push. Um, and you can just assign the hot knob, which means this will actually change a lot of parameters at the same time. Some can go up, so you program that. How do you program that? Well, we get to that. Um, and then this changes the parameters up and down. It's got MIDI in out. It is fully stereo in out, and it's got expression control and USB. Um, it needs... Uh, 9 to 12 volt, but polarity reversed. So be careful uh, about that. But it, of course, comes with its own power supply. Now, all this in this tiny little thing. It can only, that's very important to understand, be one thing at a time. So this can be your delay on your pedal board, but then it cannot be the reverb. This can be your reverb. Well, then it can't be your chorus. Get it? Okay. Sometimes the algorithms have double functions, like a, a reverb can also be a tremolo if that's built in, but it depends on the algorithm. Now, why do I have two? Two of these, I like, see them as, as jokers in your car, in your uh, deck of cards. Chorus into delay, a delay into a reverb, a pitch into a chorus, a pitch into a pitch, a delay into a delay. They can be two of whatever you want them to be. Now there's three different levels, and let me look up what the pricing is right now, so that I don't lie to you. So there is... Ah, here we go. There's a dark. What? Oh, they have it in black too. That's cool. Okay, so there's the Eventide H9 Harmonizer. Don't know why they call it Harmonizer, because it can be anything. And that's loaded with a bunch of algorithms. But not all of them. Okay? Then you use a phone or a tablet, load the software, hook it up with Bluetooth, which is fairly easy, and then you can edit the sounds. Works on a phone. On a phone, it's actually relatively big in uh, uh, the interface, and then you go to a second page to get to the to more knobs. Works fine. So on stage, if you really want to quickly change something, get out your phone, hook it up, da -da -da, done, save, done. Um, I use an iPad, beautiful interface, and you're gonna see that in a second. But let's say you want, ah, I really wish I had this giant uh, uh, reverb. Uh, you can test it out, you can audition it, and if you like it, you add it on. I think they're what, 17, 18 bucks, at least when I last looked, I don't know how much they're, but you buy it in the app, and then you only buy the ones that you want, and you get it with a whole bunch of them, and then you buy additional ones at 17 each. Because do we really need 20 different reverb algorithms? Do we need every single pitch algorithm? No, we don't. Okay, so you buy the ones you want. So $4.99 is the base price. Um, but of course, for $3.99, you can buy it empty, which 100 bucks difference, I don't know. Okay, but you can buy completely empty and only fill it up with the algorithm, algorithms that you want. If you really only want that one digital delay that makes you happy and that one chorus or that one flanger or tremolo only load it up with what you want. 
But here's the amazing thing. Buy for $6.99 the Max. It is maxed out with everything they have, including ones that will be added later. Because in addition to those uh, delay, reverb, pitch, and modulation, there's also the H9 ones, which are very special ones that you can only get in the H9. And some of them are crazy and cool, and they combine any kind of effect you can imagine. Uh, really cool stuff. So buy yourself a Max for $6.99, and then for $3.99, you add on a core. And since you have to register them in the app, both of them are yours. Meaning that your core can run all the algorithms from your Macs because you use both of them at the same time. So do the math. $6.99 and $3.99 is $1,098. Is that true? $700? Yes! <laughs> um, and that is 1100 bucks, and you have a fully programmable two algorithm at the same time, even tight, massive effect factory with a huge interface, MIDI capability, fully stereo, hells yeah. And that is the reason why now after these have been out for a few years, you see these on pedal boards two of them at the same time over and over and over again. You see one for sure because it can be anything you want to be, want it to be, but two, there isn't really a massive need for a lot of other effects if you have two of these. Don't believe me? Spend an hour and 20 minutes with me now. So here we are now with uh, two H9s and uh, the software, which I have on an uh, iPad Pro right here on the table. And um, all you do is you pretty much just go into your Bluetooth settings, uh, hook one up, which automatically kind of starts the software and is asking you, do you want to use the software? Um, and if you have two of them on the same account, uh, you can see that right there. You can switch between the two. I think you can have up to maybe three, but I'm not sure about that. Definitely two. And you can see and access the algorithms right here. I can see that on uh, the second one, which is the this one right here. So the top one should be this one and the bottom one should be this one. But on the bottom one, we can see that there's uh, less, uh, less algorithms right there uh, because it is the core and you can only share up to so and so many of the special algorithms or something like this. But it's fine if you can have them on one. Um, so the way that this works is here you can pick what algorithm. An algorithm is not a preset. An algorithm is the whole architecture of the sound. And then within that, there's a lot of presets and things you can do. Here, we can look at the presets, but we get to that. Uh, here, can, you can actually have whole kind of, you know, your own preset list, your own things. And this is uh, what uh, where it's really interesting. Um, you can actually go into the individual boxes. How do I get back? Back. Um, and say, I want to try this algorithm. And you can play it a bit and check it out. And if you like it, you buy one algorithm. And usually, how many different delays do you need? Do you need them all? How many different reverbs do you need? Do you need them all? So you can test them. Uh, there's the spice, the, the space uh, reverb, modulation, uh, delays and pitch stuff, which isn't modulation in this case, uh, or the very special H9 algorithms, which you can only get on the H9. You can listen, you can try, and then you can buy. So here I have them all, which is a lot of sounds. And well, let's go through some of them and then combinations, which is where it gets really interesting. So I'm going to get a little bit smaller here. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to turn the left one off. We're going stereo into uh, the Tone King Sky King through the Ox and the Rev Dynamis through the Two Notes Torpedo Studio. Both of them on a similar cab. So this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Thank you. 
with this tone fox bulldog that's my uh, my baby blanche look at it rosewood neck from 1962 this is an extremely nice guitar and i love it for the cleans we're gonna stay almost clean most of the time because of the in-between positions so that's the p90 <laughs> I love the in-between in the back there. So, I turn this on. We're going to start with the delays. Digital delay. I mean... It's always... So it's very simple. You just go in, put your finger on it. And you have a delay mix. Delay A and B. Because the digital delay is already st uh, two delays. You can say, if you want more A or B, um, we can say tap tempo on or actually tap tempo off. In that case, you see milliseconds. Tempo on and you double tap there. I'm going to say 124. I didn't say that. 124. There we go. So, beats per minute precise. Of course, it's got MIDI clock if you wanted that. So, quarter notes and uh, dotted eighth. <laughs> But there's no feedback. So I want a little bit, I want more feedback for the dotted eighth. It's extremely easy to get to the sound you want. Filter, what does that do? Makes it rounder. That rolls off the low end. Very cool. Extremely neato. So we want some modulation. Freaking there, digital delay, two delays, uh, all that, you, you, we can't pan them. Well, what's a crossfade? No idea what that does. That's freaking insane. Of course, you can tap it. Uh, repeat. I don't know what that does. Turns on infinite repeats. Now, um, what's this thing in the middle here? Turn that off. You have the hot knob, and you can see that the hot knob will move this slider. You can move it with your finger, but you can also move it with an expression pedal, or actually just here. And what you do is, ah, yes. You define the right position, you define the left position. Okay? And now you can see that they're actually moving, maybe even against each other. And you can, of course, do that with the hot knob as well. So you can move morph between two settings with either the hot knob or with the finger or with an expression pedal. And it's extremely easy to just set up these two things. So here we have... Yeah. Why do I have... I have no... The 
you're confused there. Very cool. And obviously within this digital delay, again, we're still on algorithm number one. And of course, we're going to uh, uh, go through the others a little bit quicker. Within algorithm one, there are tons of presets. I mean, tons and tons and tons of presets. Let's, uh, let's go back. There's an XY pad too. Don't even ask me what that does. For more parameters. Delay mix? Holy crap. Delay level 8. Uh, okay, let's go back. Um, we're going back to algorithm. So, that was the first delay. Vintage delay. <laughs> a little bit more. Same thing here, we have two delays. But you can you can now see that there's a bit knob. Let's do more mix. So it gets crappier. It's not analog, it's, uh, I'm sorry, it's not analog, it's a uh, more uh, old school digital delay, I think. Now, what if you wanted control without the software over that bit knob? Well, that's actually very simple. You click it, you double click it, assign it to the X switch. Wet mix, you double click it, assign it to the Y switch. And my feedback A, double click it, assign it to the, to the Z switch. Can I assign two things to the Z switch? Probably not. No, it's only one. But now you can see, I just click Z, and then I have control over feedback B. I click Y, and I can control my bits. Uh, uh, X, and with Y, I have my wet mix. So you have direct access to more parameters. You can go through everything with... Uh, the actual hardware, don't ask me how it's done. You can do that in the pinch. Uh, see, you can click on this. You always, uh, I don't know, I don't know how it's done. Uh, don't ask me. There's the hot knob again, okay. So that's what you do on the hardware. Sounds freaking insane. Okay, um. Again, there was only the second algorithm. Now we're on tape. Where you can see the uh, parameters have changed. We have saturation. We have... Wow, flutter, filter again. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So, cool tape delay sounds, modulation delay. So there's a delay, but it's it's so short that it's kind of comb filtering. Uh, obviously, you would use modulation for that, but you can do that. <laughs> Duct delay, that's of course our dynamic delay. Way cool. Uh, we've just been there. Uh, band delay. That's clearly a preset that I made for Campaign Like Clockwork. So you have a filter here. Let's do a band pass. I love this, but there's more. There's the filter ping pong. Now that's something you don't want and you have the core, don't buy it. If you have the max, it's included. Amazing. Um, we're moving on to the multi-tap.
reverse, obviously. And there's presets for each one of them. And you have a looper. I don't know how that works. Uh huh. Okay. Ah, that was timed. You don't have to time it. Um, 16 beat auto loop. Okay. <laughs> it's got a freaking built in looper. Um, yeah, this was just delays. Hey, you clicked on this video. So, moving on. Now I turned my H9 into a modulation machine. Now it's a very good chorus. You know what I want for the modulation stuff? I want a little bit of reverb. So we're going to go and do a little bit of spring on this thing, which I can also turn on and off right here, of course. So you don't need to be close to the hardware. Oh, I don't want the... Trem, trem rate. It's got a built-in treble, it's not just a spring, but we get to that. So back to the other one, that's how easy that is, and that's where we were. But let's go more quickly, phaser. Phaser. Kiwa. Obviously, you can. You could do the uh, the shape, no, the frequency, whatever that is, um, with uh, an expression pedal. Highly 
inspiring sounds, I gotta say that. The Flunger. I could play this all freaking day. Mod filter, I love filters. Now, how good is it? Is it as how good is it as the rotary? Because that's difficult. It's dirty. It's nice. Now don't forget you can control all this from your phone as well, which of course is killer. Tremolo and pan. <laughs> Imagine combining that with more effects, like delays and all that stuff. I mean, uh, right now we're going into a very subtle reverb. If you have two H9s, there's a lot you can do! And so easy to get to what I'm hearing in my head. There's more, Rad vibrato. Not the biggest fan of vibrato, but sometimes you might need that. This is a really cool one.
There's so clearly delay and other shit in there. That's just, you need that one. You need the undulate. The ring mod, I don't know if you need that. Okay, we move on, come on. To the pitch factor. Now it gets crazier. Yeah, because there's delay, look at that. No one does pitch better than Le Eventide, as they say in France. Don't even know what that does. Okay. Let's see if we can understand what's going on here. We have a mix, pitch mix, A and B. There's two different pitches, unison and two octaves. Okay, if I do minus octave. And two delays for that, which of course I can tap tempo at 102. We can have eighth and quarter notes. And there's feedback for both of them. Frickin' awesome. And of course, you can go and do a third. You say my key is E major, and then, because it's intelligent pitch shifting. Years ago, with the H3000 or something, we paid a lot of money for that. Now it's right here. Preferably single notes. Amazing. Wow, uh, diatonic quadra box. What's going on here? There's two more pitches, four pitches. We're still in E major. so cool and you can be ultra creative with this. So each of the pitch things has delay built in. Okay, 
then. Uh, that was the Ha modulator. Yes, um, harmonic modulator. Okay. Uh, <coughs> Now that's more of a doubling thing, the micro pitch stuff. Ultra, ultra, ultra old uh, pitchy thing that Ibtai did in the 70s. And that's an emulation of that. Clearly more subtle. to move on with uh, how many are there ah oh, this is like a whammy I, I have an expression pedal so if so if you like the idea of a digitech whammy but you don't really think you need one all the time this is a good idea. I'm using an expression pedal now. Let's look at different presets here. It's a whammy. It's uh, that's pitch flex. Octave. Well, I'm gonna go. God, that is cool. Nasty sounds to be had with the Octaver Crystals is probably, well, I don't.
amazingly beautiful sounds in here. Crystals, the harpeggiate, what the crap, that thing just crashed. Okay, we'll try this again. That looks completely different, I don't even know what's going on here. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Something crazy complicated is going on here that you should figure out, not me. This clearly requires manual reading, so you're on. The synthesizer. Oh, what what it says. With a built-in verb. Reverb, that is. Synthy sounds. Sometimes you need that. Okay, we're moving on. We have the room, so we're going to turn that one off. We have room. Amazing, this is just the room one. Wh whoever said a room is boring? Here's a plate! I mean, you would uh, you would assume. Why well, am I saying that like that? You would assume that uh, Eventide knows how to do reverbs. And again, if you want to control the mix, well, it's already controlled here. Top and bottom. Top will be here. Um, bottom will be here-ish. And you want to control the decay. So I want a lot of decay and less decay. Uh, same with the size. I want a lot of size and some extra size. <laughs> Let's say that's it. Now I can control it. Look at this. With my expression pedal.
How cool is that? Or, of course, the hot knob or on the app. Moving on, spring. Now, the cool thing, the cool, why am I listening? The cool thing with, oh my god, the cool thing with spring is uh, it's got a built in trim, so it kind of like covers all your classic fendery sounds. <laughs> It's drippy as hell. Okay, moving on, moving on, moving on. Hall, walls, hall. You knew I had to. Gunshot snare. Now, obviously, this is for more if you wanted that than just guitar, but this is a guitar channel, so that's what we're doing. And you can pick the pitch, which is amazing. Utterly freaking amazing sounds. There are more dual verb. Built in delay or something. Uh, we were at the dual verb. Uh, the black hole is amazing. You can actually get that as a plugin. It's already starting without me. Look at this. It's 
self oscillating. Black hole is actually, uh, you need black hole. There's the mangled verb. But drive in all the shit you want. There's some really cool sounds in there. Tremble, I kind of feel that we already have that in the spring. No, it's the reverb tremoloing. This is a long ass video and the dynamo. I'm gonna assume that's a dynamic reverb. I, I don't know what's going on. The dynamic reverb. So we're moving, we're moving on to the last category, which is the H9 specific um, algorithms. So we have an ultra tap <coughs> delay. This does cool stuff. I don't even know what it does. me but it's cool resonator I'm gonna say
I have no idea, but how cool is that? what the notes do. You literally have to spend weeks with this to actually really get to know the algorithms and you're only as good as the, the, the equipment's only as good as you actually knowing it. So if you don't know that it's in there, if you don't know that the sound is available, you're not going to use it. Which is the one scary bit about the H9. It has a lot to offer. That, that thing is killer. EQ compressor. Okay, it's an EQ and a compressor. There. Holy crap, is that cool? I mean, how simple is it to get... Try to get that happening with anything else that quickly. Helpful. That's kind of overdrive -y. doesn't really work. So this is for drives, but not re realistic kind of overdrives. It's for, you know, nasty ones. Uh, that's the crash station. We're going to space time, which I assume is crazy big.
So this combines delays, reverb, and modulation. Sculpt never played with this ever. Oh, it's a filter, it's a very steep filter. Crazy sounds, pitch us. I don't even know anymore. Uh, hot saw, what the crap is that? Okay, that's there. What's the harmadillo? What the crap? Thank you. 
Pretty much one of the coolest things I've ever played. Get the armadillo, whatever it does, it, it's cool. And then we got the tricera something chorus. Yet another chorus, which is cool. So, on to the very last thing we do. Well, one, one thing we can do, for example, if we go to, no, if we go to pedal settings, we can actually turn a tuner on. Look at that. And then there's actually a tuner. And, you know, you can do that. You can also do that right on the pedal, but don't ask me how. So, we're going to go to the, I want to go back to the Hamadillo. <laughs> Got a little bit of univibe in it. I don't even know what's going on. But now we go to algorithms. I go to the other one. And we're going to go to a filter pong. And now we got two super crazy effects layered on top of each other. Not what I wanted. I'm on the wrong one. Let's go to Bandilly. Good. And then we go here and we go to the cross crush station.
What happens if I do two undulators on top of each other? Because I can! I have no idea what's gonna happen. Obviously, the possibilities are freaking endless. I don't know how many hours I've been here, but that's how long you spent with me. And now back to my two cents about the Eventide H9s. Well, wasn't that just fun? I don't know how many coffees you've had and how many days you've had to watch this, but now at least we've heard every single algorithm. What do I think of these? I literally think they're the cat's pajamas, uh, the bee's knees. It doesn't get better than those sounds. It doesn't get better than being able to morph between two completely different settings of an algorithm. Um, put two of them together, give a, mi give a MIDI, and you'll be able to have any kind of effect combination you can possibly think of in the highest quality possible. I just had a conversation with a good friend of mine from Norway, um, who's like, well, what do you think about, you know, the H9 versus this? And I'm gonna, not gonna say what this is, I don't wanna trash a company. I'm like, look, this is a nice toy, this is the real deal. These algorithms can be found in the H, what, the, the, the 8,000 or the 9,000? They are, you know, $10,000 thing. Uh, they can be found in the Eclipse, which is the $2,500 uh, euro uh, had sneeze um, uh, effect processor. These are as good as that, except for the bigger ones use. Uh, bigger, uh, uh, better um, AD converters, which what's in here is already pretty damn awesome. So we're talking about awesome versus ultra awesome. This is the shit. $6.99 seems like a lot for a box, but did you just hear what it can do? I am fully, fully behind these, which is why I bought them myself. I did not get them from them. They're paying for this video, yes, but these are bought and I'm very happy I did. If you have an iPad or some kind of uh, a mobile device to, to uh, actually program them, the interface is brilliant, the sounds are there, what else do you want to know? I put links below to all three of them, the normal one, the Core and the Max, and maybe even the black one. Um, thanks for watching all of this. I don't know how you made it up to here, but you did. Thanks, Leslie, for switching this. And uh, support me on all the different platforms, please. Subscribe if you haven't. Not all videos are as long as this. And we're going to say animals at the end, as always. Sure.